I'm Mrs Sims and I'm Head of Modern Foreign Languages here at JAS, which includes French and Spanish, and I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of languages and why to choose them for GCSE. Yes, I'm quite biased in thinking French and Spanish are the best subjects in the world to do, however, you don't realise at this important age how important these languages can be to you. The biggest question always is, is well, everyone speaks English, Miss, why do we need to learn French and Spanish? However, 75% of the world do not speak English, right? We are the minority with 25% speaking English, so being able English is not enough these days. French and Spanish will open up so many doors to you. Okay? I'm not saying that you've got to be a teacher in the future, not that there's anything wrong with being a teacher, but there are so many professions. You know, think of pilots, air hostesses, um, translators, interpreters, working for the UN, working for European unions, all these things can open up doors when you've got another language. Some universities too do require a language of GCSE and you will stand out from the crowd having a French or Spanish GCSE. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the course content. Though you're in year nine now, it is all what you've already started this year. So you have already started a foundation course at GCSE, which will help bridge the transition when you get to year 10. You'll be assessed exactly the same as you always have been, listening, reading, writing and speaking. However, they will be tiered foundation, which is your maximum for grade five, which is the old grade C. And then you've got your higher tier, which is for going grade five all the way to grade nine for that top 20%. In your listening, reading, writing and speaking, you will have to opt if you want foundation for all four skills and higher for all four skills too. Each skill is worth 25%. So no matter if you know you're not so good at the listening, and you do really, really well in your reading and writing, this could also bring your grades up for you. Different things that are incorporated in your reading and writing that we try to incorporate with you in year nine is translation. It is a skill we will be working on a lot with you in year nine to help that transition come into year 10, and it is something that will be new to you. Things we um, cover, a lot of the content and some of the topics are exactly the same we've done in seven, eight, and nine. However, we go into a lot more detail, I think so about holidays, but there are more tenses, and then we look at social and context, um, like global problems that are actually happening in the world today. So if anyone's got any questions whatsoever to do with French and Spanish, please do not hesitate to contact me. Languages are the best, and you'll enjoy it.